Police on alert and on edge after the killing of a terrorist investigate a Saudi national after bizarre behavior. The incident in Madison forced workers to leave their offices and residents to leave their apartments in several downtown buildings. The night team's David Douglas is live where it all happened and has the latest. David. Sarah, police were initially concerned about the potential for a bomb in a squad car parked right where this one is. And you can tell there'd be people right around us. So they asked people to leave the offices in this building, the apartments over there. But as the details come out tonight, it seems this may just be a colossal cross-cultural misunderstanding, yet one that makes for quite a bizarre story. Yeah, I was like, how did a bomb get in a squad car? That really is, makes my brain kind of twirl. Jane Schneider wasn't alone in asking the question. Everyone downtown was trying to answer as the bomb squad moved in on a Madison police car and workers in nearby buildings were asked to move away from windows. I just heard that they were worried about glass. But long before the men in special suits showed up, police were called to the Edgewater Hotel across the isthmus where the staff was having trouble with a guest. When we got there, he's sweating profusely, he's mumbling, there's a language barrier. It's really not clear what his intentions were. Police say Ayad Amotari, a Saudi national, had crashed a luncheon and was eating the food. When workers asked him to leave, he didn't want to, so officers arrested him. We really weren't quite sure what he was up to. Uh, we know that he had a visa, uh, that he'd come to Madison to study English. When Amatari was arrested, police loaded his suitcases into the squad. And as his odd behavior continued while he was being interviewed, they felt they had to check the suitcases before they could be moved to the Madison Police property room. And in this case, he had suitcases and other items. We really weren't sure what was in those items. And because of his behavior, we thought it would be prudent to take a look closely at those things. After a thorough examination, nothing dangerous was found, just a major disruption downtown. But police are clear they had no choice other than to be careful. I think uh, you know, people are on high alert, and uh, we took care of things today. Uh, nothing uh, happened with him that shouldn't have happened. He went to jail for his behavior at the Edgewater. We checked out his belongings, and his belongings are now in our property room, and he'll get them back at the right time. Police did first use a bomb sniffing dog to check out the trunk of that squad car and the dog did detect the presence of explosives and it was right. It was smelling ammo and flares, things police typically have in their trunks, but there was just no way to tell them apart without the bomb squad members coming and taking that very up close and personal look. As you saw in the video, Amatari, we do understand, is enrolled in English as a second language school here in Madison on the Capitol Square. All right, News 3's David Douglas reporting live downtown tonight. David, thank you for that report.